Errol Spence wins a split decision over Sean Porter. Sean Porter came out like the old Sean Porter, was very aggressive. He made Spence fight the whole 12 rounds. The difference in the fight to me was a knockdown. If it wasn't for the knockdown, I had Spence win at 115-113. I gave Spence seven rounds to five, but could easily go the other way for Sean Porter because like I said, the rounds were hard to score. They were so close. And I think walking in here, I think Spence thought it would be an easy fight, but this was a rough fight for Spence. He got cut, his face was swollen up. He was in a fight. This is Walter Waite boxing at the highest level. Was Spence exposed in this fight? I don't know. But I know one thing, Danny Garcia was avoiding Spence like the plague. After the fight, Danny Garcia said he wanted next. I think Sean Porter showed in this fight, Spence is not the boogeyman. I give Spence a little credit for pulling it out, but this wasn't a dominant performance. This fight was even until the knockdown. As far as that knockdown shot, I think Adrian Broner dropped Sean Porter too. My biggest takeaway from this fight is resumes, competition. Errol Spence looked dominant against smaller guys and inferior competition. But when he fights the guys in his division, the top contenders, he just wanted the boys. Both guys were landing great shots. But another thing I took from this fight, Errol Spence's power is overrated. Hit Sean Porter with a lot of body shots, a lot of head shots. He dropped him with that one shot. But Porter got up and said, let's go. Porter's a straight dog. I got more respect for him than I had before. Spence won the fight, but he didn't fulfill a promise. He told us he's a knockout Sean Porter. That's my fight analysis. If you get a chance, watch the fight on YouTube if you can find it. Errol Spence wins by split decision over Sean Porter. This was his first legit Walter Waite fight and you see how it went. It wasn't as easy as all the other fights. And the punch of power is just a myth and the fear factor is gone. Errol Spence calls Sean Porter a dirty fighter. I couldn't count how many low blows he got away with. We will break down this fight some more in the following week. But anyway, congrats to Errol Spence. He's a unified champion and still undefeated. Leave your comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.